Greetings, everyone. Well, it's closer look time again here on the Multimedia Chronicles. Today we're going to be checking out Brave Star, the sci-fi western animated series from 1987, which was actually the last series that Filmation produced before they closed their doors. They did do a couple of feature films after, but, uh, but this was the last full-on series that they did and I gotta say they definitely went out with a bang because it is one hell of a good show so let's check it out Brave Star today on the Multimedia Chronicles So Brave Star ran for one single 65 episode season in 1987 to 1988. Uh, it was basically straight to daily syndication. So it was Monday through Friday uh, throughout that entire season. And uh, in addition to the 65 episodes, they also produced a feature film called Brave Star The Legend. Now the feature film was originally intended to be the pilot for the series, because it actually gives the origin story of how Brave Star got his powers, how Tex Hex came to be, and all of that stuff. But uh, for whatever reason, the movie didn't air on television until quite some time later. In fact, I don't know if it ever aired on television. I know it got a video release years down the road, but um, I never saw it. <laughs> the first time I ever saw it was actually when I picked up this DVD set. So that was a real treat because I'd heard about this movie, but I'd never seen it before. Um, so I guess I would have been 14 going on 15 when the series originally aired. A lot of my friends were kind of shying away from cartoons as they entered into the early stages of young adulthood. Um, but I've always been a big kid at heart, so I just loved it. Plus, I love sci-fi westerns, so this was right up my alley. Um, yeah, I absolutely loved Brave Star, and I gotta say, um, pretty notable series, especially for mid to late 80s television, in that it is the first animated series in history to feature a Native American lead character. How cool is that? Yeah, so, um, Filmation liked to push the envelope like that, like to, to break ground in terms of, uh, you know, uh, representation and so forth. There was a, a show called Black Star, which uh, I loved as a kid from, uh, I think it was 1981 when that came out. And uh, it, it was basically about an astronaut who went through a black hole and found himself on an alien planet and became kind of a Conan the Barbarian type guy. A wisecracking Conan the Barbarian type guy who would ride around on a dragon and fight the bad guys. But uh, really cool sci-fi fantasy series. But apparently the original concept for it was they wanted John Blackstar, the main character, to be a black man, to be a man of color. Um, but the networks at the time uh, shied away from that and said, eh, no, we'd rather just have him be a white guy. So, you know, major kudos to, uh, you know, Lou Scheimer and Norm Prescott, though, for really putting in the effort to push the envelope and uh, and be more inclusive and, you know, push equality and whatnot in the 80s. Like, who the hell was doing that in the 80s? So, I mean, I got to give credit where credit's due. That's, that's a big tip of the hat to Filmation right there. So, a few years later, they came up with Brave Star, and this time around, there was nothing stopping them. They were a suitably powerful studio. They could basically do whatever the heck they wanted. So uh, they're like, yeah, we, we kind of got shafted with the Black Star idea, so let's have a uh, Native American lead this time, and we'll, uh, we'll make it a Western in, in space. And, uh, and that's what they did. And it's, it's fantastic. I absolutely love this show so much, and it's one that uh, I enjoy coming back to again and again whenever I want to get my sci-fi western on. Alrighty, well let's head on down to the uh, black table and we'll check out these wonderful editions that BCI Eclipse put out uh, a number of years ago. Sadly, all out of print now, but uh, I will of course include Amazon links regardless, just in case you get lucky with the third-party sellers. I think this one is still fairly easy to get your hands on. I'll uh, 
I'll poke around there for you and get you some links. Uh, but the best of Brave Star set here actually has the movie um, and five you know fan favorite episodes as well. So it's uh, it's a good one to get. Um, yeah, and then I think the uh, the main series actually did get a re-release from Mill Creek, so I'll include a link to that as well. Big thanks to those of you who use my Amazon links, by the way. That does go to support the show, so I really appreciate that a lot. Alrighty, well, let's head on down to the black table, and we'll check out these gorgeous sets from BCI Eclipse of Brave Star. Alrighty, so first up, we have the best of Brave Star which contains several favorite episodes, as well as, this is the big reason to get it, Brave Star The Legend, which is the feature-length pilot movie that they did. I can't recall if it got a limited theatrical release or not. The first time I remember hearing about it was seeing some posters of it in a uh, comic book, actually. It was the, the movie poster was used to advertise the coming of the show. For a long time, I didn't even know there was a movie. I thought it just kind of was like most... Uh, cartoons at the time where it didn't necessarily have an origin story it just kind of started in the middle of the action but no this one actually does have an origin story so there's the 65 episodes of the show and then there's also of course the movie and the movie actually gives you the full-on origin story so very nice uh packaging here as you can see it's a combination of matte and glossy so quite nice love the artwork on these and then inside we have uh, basically a big digipack with uh, more artwork on it. And there you go. And just some information about Brave Star there. And there we go. We got 3030 and uh, a big demon dude that uh, Stampede. That's who it was. Stampede. Couldn't remember his name for a second there. Just a bit of a brain fart. And we open it up, and we actually have all this lovely artwork. Um, the disc hubs are a little tight. Just uh, show you here, but we got this lovely panorama of the uh, the town on New Texas. And look at that! It's this beautiful panorama. I'm guessing this is one of the backgrounds background paintings they used very very cool so we got two discs the first of which has the movie and then the second of which has some other stuff so just while you're looking at this lovely panorama uh here's the insert so this is actually the movie poster so they put the cover of the or the uh, movie poster on the cover of the insert which is pretty cool and then on the back, we got uh, just advertising that BCI is doing the entire Filmation universe, pretty much, which is pretty cool. And then inside, we have the contents. So what do we have on here? Well, we've got quite a lot of stuff. We, of course, have Brave Star the Movie, also known as Brave Star the Legend, which is the feature-length origin story that tells you how, how Brave Star became Brave Star, how he... Uh, got the power to take on the attributes of different animals, how he met 3030. It even has the origin of Tex Hex and how he ended up kind of cursed and uh, working with or, you know, enslaved to Stampede and how he got all these magic powers and stuff. And it's, uh, it's really cool. It's actually a really good movie and it could have very easily been released theatrically. I would have loved to see that on the big screen. But... Um, yeah, so the cool thing is also there's tons of little trivia tidbits in here. So this is all about the creation of Brave Star, and then they got some other stuff about the uh, the show and whatnot. And then in terms of extras, we have Saddling Up with Brave Star, the legend documentary. A look at the origin of television's most popular animated science fiction western, including interviews with producers, writers, animators, and other filmation personnel. Then we have Rare Footage a promotional presentation, and select scenes from Brave Star the Legend created to sell the concept, film, and series. And we have the theatrical trailer for Brave Star the Legend. So I guess maybe it did get a limited theatrical release. Never did in my area, though, as far as I'm aware. 
Uh, also, rare footage of some of the live action footage that they used for rotoscoping. Yeah, one thing Filmation would do is a lot of uh, sort of stock shots of characters running or turning or things like that. And they would usually have live actors that they would film and then they would rotoscope it. Me rotoscope it, meaning they would trace over with animation cells uh, in the style of the character and then just use those shots over and over again. That was one of the ways they saved money. Um, and then we have an image gallery of Bravestar the Legend promotional art and uh, DVD-ROM material. We've got Bravestar the Legend plus all five best of episodes. Uh, we've got English and Spanish language audio tracks and ink and paint trailers. So the five best of episodes on here, we've got episode number 11, Eye of the Beholder. Episode 20, To Walk a Mile. Episode 37, Fallen Idol. Episode 46, Te Texas Terrible Night. And episode 49, The Price. Now I should mention something about the movie here is sometimes with an animated series in the 80s they would do a movie and say show it in prime time or what have you to promote the show and then they would take that movie and chop it up into usually five episodes so they could show it monday through friday during the uh weekly rotation of the show well they actually didn't do that with the brave star movie the brave star movie was just a standalone thing and then the series is 65 additional episodes that carry on after the events of the movie so interesting it's uh, kind of a rare rare case uh where they did that you didn't see that very often like for example uh he-man and she-ra secret of the sword was originally shown as a theatrical movie and then a slightly altered version of it was chopped up into five episodes for the start of she-ra so you'd think that brave star would be the same thing because it comes from the same era and that's just kind of how they would do things um i remember seeing some of the gi joe miniseries done that way where they would show the movie version in prime time and then they'd show the five part version as part of the daily episodes but yeah not the case with brave star which in a way is better because it means we get the 65 episode series plus a movie how cool is that so carrying on here we then have volume one of the series oh, again just love this artwork it's just gorgeous and once again we have a mix of matte and um glossy so the characters are in glossy the backgrounds in matte the uh, the logo's in glossy. And there we go. So this is volume one, which contains... How many episodes does this contain? It doesn't say on the back. Oh, no, it does. 33. So 33 of the 65 episodes are on here. So there you go. Very nice. And quite a selection of extras, which we'll go through in just a moment. So as with the other one, it just kind of slides out like that. So we've got Eyes of the Hawk, Ears of the Wolf, Strength of the Bear... And speed of the puma very cool and another nice group shot there actually I think it's the same yeah it's the same group shot that's on the cover there but uh, without all the logos so you get the clean version yeah pretty snazzy so this one not as wild about the packaging here this was getting a little bit later in BCI Eclipse's uh, run so they're starting to use slightly cheaper packaging i much prefer just the straight up digibooks or digipacks that they were using for the other sets at the episode guide which we'll take a look at in just a moment so the way this works as i recall is it's this weird flap that opens up like that so at least i mean the discs aren't touching each other it's just kind of strange packaging i, I really haven't seen this type of packaging anywhere else you have like these fold out wings for the other discs but uh, if we just pop these out here you can see we have some more background art for the interior case it's one thing that was nice about uh, bci eclipse is they did not skimp on the package art they really just went all out to give you a beautiful presentation and uh there you go so that's very nice indeed so we'll just uh, take a look at that, I guess, and we'll go through the extras. So in the episode guide, let's give you a look here. We once again have yeah, very standard format for the BCI Eclipse sets. We have a screenshot from each of the episodes, and we have some information. And we've got trivia for almost every single episode here. I mean, they really went all out with this, so it's, it's a, real, a real treat for Brave Star fans, you find get a lot of information about the making of the show and 
little connections between the stories and stuff like that. It's uh, it's fantastic. And there you go. And then here, which is this? This is the uh, yeah. So this is just an advertisement for the best of collection. All right. So what do we have for extras here? We have. Disc four is actually nothing but extras. It's all extras. So we got spotlight interviews. Uh, Brave Star producer Lou Scheimer, Brave Star voice actor Pat Fraley, Brave Star director Tom Tataranovich, Brave Star director Tom Sito. Uh, we've got a full episode commentary on episode 11, Eye of the, Be Eye of the Beholder, uh, by writer Tom Ta Tataranovich and director Tom Sito, uh, hosted by Andy Mangles. I think, actually, this was supposed to say writer Tom Tataranovich, but, uh, and then director. Unless he also did some directing, too. I, I don't know. I'm not as familiar with the, uh, the crew of, of this series. Uh, and then you got promos for Brave Star. A 12 and a half minute promo, which I think is probably the one that's on the Best of collection, the, uh, the pilot um, uh, clips from the movie. And then we got Brave Star promo number one, which is just a 30-second tease. Promo number two, which is a 10-second tease. Promo number three, which highlights his animal powers. Promo number four, which highlights Tex Hex. And promo number five, which highlights 3030. So very cool to have all of those. Uh, and then a bonus episode, never-before-seen spin-off pilot, The Quest of the Prairie People. Yes, they were actually going to do a spin-off with the Prairie People, but it never took off. Um, I'm guessing because this ended up being Filmation's last series, and they just kind of ran out of resources to... Uh, to do anything beyond that um and then image galleries we got a brave star style guide gallery and a brave star advertisements gallery and then we got trailers for uh we got some he-man tv spots she-ra tv spots dungeons and dragons tv spot and a couple of funimation trailers one for burst angels and kitty grade so there you go very nice very nice collection and uh this one doesn't have a pocket for the box so we just uh set it right there and that's all she wrote so then we just put it all back together there we go it takes a little persuasion to get back in the box there and that's that so then last but most certainly not least we have volume two now as i recall when i was collecting these i had to hunt this one down it was hard to find the later releases from BCI Eclipse did not have a high, as high a print run, I'm guessing, as the earlier ones. They were kind of cutting back on costs. And, um, yeah, this was one of the last things I got for my Filmation collection. And it was one I really wanted to get because Brave Star is one of my all-time favorite uh, Filmation shows. I'm just a big sucker for sci-fi westerns. So here we got, uh, again, same kind of thing, nice glossy cover. Yeah. Also, I should mention the earlier uh, BCI clip sets, like the He-Man sets and whatnot, actually had embossing on the covers as well. So it was glossy, matte, and then embossed. So you had like all nice texture to it. But uh, that was something that went, the embossing went, and then the, the digipacks went, and they were slowly cutting back on costs until they ultimately closed their doors. And that's that. And then it's on the top there. Yeah, there's really nothing on the bottom of these, just the copyright and rights info. So, same thing, just slides open like that. That's a very nice epic shot there. Um, then we got 3030 in horse mode. Very cool. And then we got, uh, well, we got 3030 in Brave Star again. They're just all about those hero shots of them, you know? So we got, uh, yeah, very cool. And then uh, same thing, just opens up like this. Got our episode guide. I thought they might go the route that they went with uh, the He-Man sets and whatnot, where they'd have, you know, Volume One focusing on the villains, Volume Two fo or on the heroes, Volume Two focusing on the villains, but they didn't. So same thing. We have these weird. Uh, where's the other disc? Is there not supposed to be four discs here? <laughs> uh. Okay, no, there's three discs. There's only three discs on this one. Whew, I panicked for a second there. I'm like, oh no, where's the last disc? <laughs> that would have been, uh... wow, can this open? There we go. Okay, because there's the tray for it, but I guess it's just a standard uh, packaging setup they have. Don't like how this magnetic, magnetic strip is right in the middle there. 
Not going to risk taking that off and tearing the beautiful artwork. So let's just pop this one out and you can see the artwork underneath. Yeah, that's very, very nice. Okay, so let's uh, close this up. We'll, uh, we'll do this, I guess, and we'll take a look, see what goodies are in here. I don't think there's actually any extras on this set. Um, yeah, it looks like this might actually be bare bones. It's just the episodes, which is really rare for Bill. Uh, Bill? Who the hell's Bill? BCI Eclipse. Um, oh, and look, they even they don't even have the screen grabs for the episodes anymore either. Wow, this is uh, obviously pretty late in the game. They were starting to skimp on everything. Um, I mean, it's nice they at least still include the booklet, but uh, but that is it. That's all they got. Um, yeah, and they actually did do a standalone release of the Brave Star movie as well. I don't know why you would bother getting just the standalone release, because everything that's on this is in the Best Of collection, and you get uh, five bonus episodes, and I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> so I guess if you missed out on the movie, at least, or on the Best Of collection, you can get the standalone movie. I think in terms of the aftermarket, the Best Of collection is actually cheaper they tended to have higher print runs for the best ofs just because it was a way for people to get kind of a representation of the particular series, um, you know, without necessarily having to invest in the whole thing. So let's just put the whole works here, shall we? And we'll just zoom, whoops, zoom back a smidge. There we go. That is it. The complete bci eclipse collection of filmation's swan song series brave star and just before we go i have a little bonus uh item to show you this was uh sent to me by skin slip a number of years ago in a uh in a package check this out yeah how cool is that <laughs> We actually have, uh, what this is, is it's an original animation cell. You can tell because it has the pegs for, uh, for where it would be placed on the, uh, the record, like the, uh, sort of layout device that they would use to film it. And then it has a reproduction of one of the painted backgrounds there, just so you can kind of see Brave Star, uh, walking through town there. But that is very cool. That was a total surprise. I was shocked when I saw that in the package from her and, uh, absolutely overjoyed like it's literally having a piece of the show you know like how cool is that an absolute treat for a uh, you know cartoon nut like me and there you go so yeah pretty uh pretty snazzy sets i gotta say um and once again i will include amazon links to all of these and any re-releases that i can find as well so if you want to get Brave Star into your collection and check it out for yourself, um, you know, I'll try to make it easy for you. And once again, thanks for using my Amazon links. I really appreciate that. Alrighty, well, that is it for me to you for now. So thank you very much for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch. I stream just about every day. And I will see you next time. Until then, sayonara. <laughs>